Asking. No, I'm from Ghana. What? From um, Ghana. Okay. Yeah, Ghana. I'm from Ghana. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've seen a lot of Ghanaian. They'll have like uh, maybe like uncles Muslim. They got aunties Christian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But what? What about yourself? Are you? Have you compared the two? Islam yeah, and Christianity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm born and I'm baptized. Okay. So you believe in the Trinity? If you don't mind me asking why? Why? Because the Trinity is, is, is God. Okay. Trinity is God. The word Trinity is not in the Bible. Yeah, 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 I understand. But God described God as through prophecy goes time, goes by and everything. Yeah. Yeah. The Trinity is revealed. Okay. The Old Testament, the New Testament, the Trinity is revealed. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So the Trinity is not, it's not, the word Trinity is not there. Yeah, I understand, yeah. But you're saying the concept. It's definitely there. Not to put you on the spot. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, where is it? The concept. The concept is written through the Old Testament, New Testament. It's all like like when Jesus was baptized, heavens opened. Yeah. And you know, a voice spoke from heaven, said, "This is my son. Uh -huh. I'm well pleased." Yeah. In the Old Testament, Abraham said, no, "Yahweh." You know, if, if you take this uh, the baptism, when the heavens opened, the voice, the dove, and Jesus in the water. This, this would say that all three of them were present. Okay. But when you say the Trinity, that all three of them are fully God. God is one. But all these three are co-equal, co-eternal. How do you get that from the, the baptism event? Because, because Jesus is the, is the physical, is, is, is God's word in flesh. Yeah. To man, God with us. Yeah. He's God's voice. Yes. God is kind of, God can be only God can do everything. We can't limit. Me as a God's creation, I can't limit what he can do. You can only limit if you're saying he can't do it, then you've given him a limit. Can he stop existing? Huh? Can he stop existing? I know where you're going with that. You're saying he died on the cross. No, 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 no. Just just full stop. Can God stop existing? God can't stop existing. He's he, he's before, now, and after. I agree with you. Yeah. So So when you say you can't put limits on God. There are limits which you can put on him, which would something which would make him not God. Like, for example, if someone said, "Can God be become weak? Can he become forgetful?" No, because that's not talking about God. When we say God, he has ne uh, necessary attributes and names, like you said, eternal, the first without the beginning, the last without an end, all knowing, all powerful. So. Because when you say don't put limits on God, I know usually the conversation, what happens is when the Muslim says, how can God become a man? The Christian will say, don't put limits on God. But there is limits. There, I wouldn't say there's limits. On, is there limits to you? Like something, something which you say about God is, is not true. Like God's all powerful. We don't limit him in that way. He's all knowing. We don't limit him that way. But you can't attribute to God something which would make him not God. But in in, in the sense of, of Jesus, because we're, we're talking about Jesus. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. In the sense of Jesus being God, Jesus is, Jesus is God. Why? He, he's God's word spoken. Okay. God's word manifests his flesh uh -huh. to be with man, to show man the way. Uh -huh. Before before Jesus, what did they used to do? They used to sacrifice animals. There was things put in place to you to take all your sins. Just because you're bringing a number of points, that's yeah. like that's the issue of salvation. But just about Jesus being so God. Just about Jesus. So Does Jesus, Jesus have a God? So Jesus, when you say Jesus had a God, Jesus had fellowship with his father. Now, did he have a God? Then? Jesus, I, I can't say Jesus had a God. Okay. Because Jesus fellowship with God, because very often this conversation with God. Yeah. He's worshiping God. He's worshiping. It's, it's, it's communication with God. When you pray, you're having a communication with God. Uh -huh. So Jesus had a communication with God in heaven. So he's going to keep having a conversation with God on you, earth. You know the, the gospel according to John? Yeah. Verse 20, chapter 17. My brother, brother, brother. Okay. Brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> brother, yeah. Just to throw you off. <laughs> but you know in John 17, this is, according to the Gospel of John, this is, according to the Christian belief, after Jesus was crucified, his life was returned to him. Mary Magdalene comes to him. Don't worry. I know this guy well. I know him well. <laughs> You're right, yeah? yeah? So Mary Magdalene comes to touch him. Yeah. And Jesus says to her, do not touch me, because I have not ascended to the Father. 
but tell my brothers, tell my brethren that I must ascend to my father and your father, my God and your God. So therefore, this verse is saying that Jesus had a God. I wouldn't say necessarily. What Jesus is describing there is he's saying that my God, yeah. when he says my God and your God, he's not lying there because your God is his God. Because when... when yeah, that's what I said. So says, Jesus had a God. Jesus said, yeah, you are the Peter, you are the yeah. said that. Have, I, have you not seen the Father? He said, Jesus said, Oh, let me get the quote. I've been amongst you. Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. Have you seen, have you seen the Father? So, yeah. so yeah. what prophet can say, if you've seen me, uh -huh. you've seen the Father. Uh -huh. if you, if you what, about the, what about the Father is greater than I? Sorry? The Father is greater than I. Yeah, because because we've got the will, uh, yeah. so it's only the Father's will. Jesus is here to fulfill the Father's will, like he said in the in the Garden of Gethsemane. He said that, let it not be my will, but your will be done. Why? Because he's here on Can the someone Father's overpower will. the will of God? Because for us, we would say, we would say that is a clear proof that Jesus is not God. When you say that God will something, and then another entity will something, but one will overpowered the other. One one had to submit to the other one's will. That one that submitted can never be God. But the purpose of why Christ came on earth was to die. Uh -huh. to, to that, that's a separate issue. That's a so, separate issue. So if his will, uh -huh. if the Father's will, consider that he sent his word, he sent his word. So can so God die? Will, but can God die then? If his if his will was if his, if his purpose was to die, Jesus. Well, what was his purpose to die? His flesh died because. We don't believe death. We don't believe death is the end. Uh -huh. And I know in Islam we don't believe death is the yeah, end. Yeah, of course, of course. It's obviously that. So if you say the flesh died, yeah, the flesh died, and what happened? But then the word became flesh. The word became flesh. So the, the word was. But the word was. Will. The word was with God. The word was God, the word, and the word, the word became, became flesh. flesh yeah. You understand the problem here? Yeah. There's no problem. Here. The problem. Jesus has a God. Jesus submitted to the will of God, and Jesus died. For us, this is, it, it can never be God. But that's the thing though. If I was to explain. Yeah, you can't. God to you. Yeah. He's not God. You understand that? If you can explain to me your God, then you can't be God. I, I can. You can't explain. The, because, the full, because the awesomeness the, of God, the, the full, the, not, the full our mind, mind cannot yeah, comprehend. Yeah. But there's a slight difference. Mm -hmm. There's a slight difference. Because there's a difference between being able to comprehend the fullness of God. Obviously, the human being can't do that. Of course not, yeah. But can we describe him? Yes. And also, let me just finish. And what we're talking about here, we're not talking about comprehension. We're talking about a contradiction. Okay. When we say that God is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an end, God is eternal. He always existed. Yeah. This is me describing God. Okay. Can I, as a human being, fully fathom it? No, but I've described God. But 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 but, but when you but when you but when you say that Jesus died, and when you're saying that Jesus had to submit his will to the will of the Father or the will of God, when you say that Jesus prayed, when you say that Jesus when you say that Jesus died. Here, we're not talking about comprehension. We're talking about all of these things are a contradiction. Dying, praying, submitting your will. All of these are a contradiction to saying that someone is God. Not, not necessarily. Not, not necessarily. necessarily, no. If we're going to go through comprehension, Jesus literally said, yeah, yeah. Father, glorify me uh, with the glory uh, I had with you, with you yeah. before the world began. Uh, so John's, John's there, John's, saying, uh, 17. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's there, what's he saying there? Can God be given glory from by someone else? God says that he doesn't share his he doesn't glory. Share glory. So if Jesus uh, had the glory before uh, the world began, yeah. then that means... No, no, just, God's not a liar. He doesn't share his glory with anyone. With anyone. Can, can Jesus God, is part of his essence. Can, can yes. God receive glory from someone else? Like, for example, you glorify God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Glorify God. But, but, that's, but that's, here, we're, here we're talking about status. Are you, are you saying that God, he, he lost part of his attributes of godliness and then he, he was given them back later? In, in the doctrine of the Trinity, yeah. the reason why we believe that he lowered, the Bible literally uh -huh. spells it out, he lowered himself, uh -huh. lowered to, 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 the, to the 
it's not even a server. Yes. Yeah. And this was this was um, it's the whole the answer to most of these questions is literally the doctrine of the incarnation. Uh -huh. The moment you understand the incarnation, it, it refutes literally every other every other question that is to be answered. See, but then you're then you're saying then it's a contra I'll say it's a contradiction because you're contradicting the fact that God is eternal. When you he's, he's, a, he's eternal as God, and the necessity of God is to be uh, had to have his names and his attributes, to be all powerful, almighty, all knowing. If, if something is not all powerful, if something is not almighty, if something is not all knowing, this is not God. So when you're saying that God lowered himself and then he was. His status was raised again. This is not God. But we, but we, but we understand why. You understand because, my point? Because his, because I, I'm not saying you, you agree, but do you understand my point? I get, I get your point. But the, the doctrine of, of Christianity is that the Word of God, yeah, which, was with, which was with God, yeah. Yeah, lowered himself into, into man, into flesh, for a mission, for a purpose. So at that point, yeah. he has been lowered himself. He stripped himself of his glory. So at that time, he wasn't God. It's not that he wasn't. No, God. Not that he wasn't. He was God incarnate. So he was God without the attributes of God. So he was. He was God without the God. attributes of God. He's God. No. Yeah. Because God on earth, yeah, the, the Father on earth, like when Moses, when Moses yeah. went to the mountain, one of the Egyptians, yeah. and God spoke down on the mountain. Yeah. He said, "God, please speak through Moses, because it was his voice is You understand? Yeah, yeah. So God had to lower Himself to a man. So that no, he can come. The same way when no, Allah right. enters the seventh heaven. Uh -huh. yeah. He can't enter. Uh -huh. yeah, it's the same way. That, that's what happens. So what happens? So, what happens? so that means creation uh -huh. can continue. One point in time. What, what, exactly. happens, what yeah, happens is, yeah. I'm saying that it's, it's a way it's of similar, Allah. It's similar. It's similar. No, it's, similar. it's not. It's not. See, so, I'll come to that. See, the thing is, when, when someone's a Trinitarian, they begin to read the Old Testament with uh, Trinitarian eyes. And they will see things. Yes. The Jews Jew, Jew um, spoke of a two, two powers in heaven. Uh -huh. This was in the um, Old Testament. Oh, so yeah, so the, the, the complete no, no, nature, no, no, the complete no. nature of God. No. God. It would be nice if I could finish it. Just no. sentence. Okay. You know, I mean, I'm having no to. No problem. You know, no problem. No problem. Yeah. But it's like the, 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 uh -huh. this was depicted throughout the whole. Uh -huh. um, um, the Old Testament as well, uh, in, in what, you, what the Torah is, uh, like it was depicted in there where there was two powers to the point where um, the, the the Old Testament literally says, and Yahweh from rain down fire and uh, from Yahweh in heaven. Uh, so these things, it, it, it's not they're not minced words. They uh, they know what they said when they said it. They may not fully understand it because God in His infinite wisdom and might, you don't you can't necessarily uh, fathom what that meant. Uh, but it was what was written there. It was what was understood and. What, what we try to do is try to use human logic to understand who God is. If you can, like you're saying, Allah uh -huh. is one, well, I'm one. So it, it, what, what, how does that make any difference from what Allah is to me? If the, the fact that the Trinity makes more sense is because uh -huh. to, they're not like, he's not like us. He's not like us. So in that can point, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. See, the thing is, you mentioned another point, a number of points, but even when you say God is one, yeah. He is uniquely one. Like for, for example, let's, let me give you an example. I'm alive, okay? Obviously we're all alive. God is alive. He's the ever-living, ever -living. He's, he's the ever-living. Even in the, the book of Daniel, it says Hayul Qayyum. It says that he is the ever-living, the self-subsisting. Yeah, ever-living, not, yes. not the last alive, the last one. Yeah, the last ever living. so he's alive. But we're not ever-living. No, 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 but look, look, yeah. my point was, I'm alive, God is alive. alive yeah. But our, our, but life, but our, our life, life, yeah, our yeah. life, there's nothing uh, beyond that, the yeah. name, which has any similarity. Like my life depends upon air to breathe, I was born, I'm going to die, etc. Uh, I need to eat food, etc., etc. My life is limited. But when we talk about the Creator, which we agree upon, He is. Uh, self-subsisting. He doesn't have a beginning, he doesn't have an end. So his life and my life is different. When we say that, for example, God is hearing and I'm hearing, there's a similarity in the words, but the reality is completely different. So even when we say one, when we talk about the oneness of the Creator, say he's one. Yes. Our, our, our oneness is different. Like, for example, you introduce yourself as twins. Obviously, we all have parents. Now, it's, it's possible that someone can come in a room and see a lady and see a man and say, 
I'm sure that's your mum and dad because you look the same, you talk the same, you've got certain mannerisms. So there's, even when you say that you're one person, you're one person, you still share characteristics with other people. But when we say God is one, it's a, it's a completely unique one. It's not, but, it's but, to say, but to say that he's a one and a trinity, yeah. therefore is different, is, is a strange argument. So what, what, what do you do with the other aspects of Allah that, that is similar to humanity? Uh -huh. Like when it speaks of his body parts, for instance, uh -huh. like saying that, oh, he will be seen on the, uh -huh. on the last days, yeah. or he will reveal himself in a shape that they won't recognize, and then uh -huh. he will then reveal yeah. himself in a shape that they do recognize, uh -huh. and then they will recognize him. You've done, you done, huh? yeah, you done your homework. Yeah, you've done your homework. Yeah, so yeah. he said that he will reveal uh -huh. the shin and yeah. so forth. There's body parts to uh -huh. Allah that is way more than just him being one and me being one. Okay. There's, so there's these, these things... How, 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 do you deal, how, would you do, how would you deal with that in the Bible? How would you do that in the Bible? Yeah. We, are made in, we are made in God's image and likeness. Uh -huh. So we believe here yeah, that what, what, uh -huh. who God is, yeah. he, has, he, has, he has kind of given onto, onto us so, so when some you of his actions. So we, can, we can take part uh -huh. in, like, God is all merciful, God is all good. These are just yes. words that we use to describe um, actions and, yes. and things. God is the source of that. Uh -huh. That's the reason why we can say yeah. these things. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we are, we, we are basically, I don't, I don't know how to best explain it, but he has put these characteristics in us and this is how we know that we, um, we are of him because he has uh -huh. given us these, uh -huh. um, these attributes to take part in, like mercy, okay. like, like being able to tell uh -huh. the truth. Like being good, like uh -huh. these things. Only God is these, all these things, and He's given these things onto us. Uh -huh. And we're, that's how we're made in His image and likeness. Okay, okay. Yeah? So in the concept of Islam, they don't have that concept of being made in Allah's image. So when Allah wait, depicts wait, wait. Himself with okay, images okay. of humans. One minute, one minute. You, you, you made a couple of points. Yeah. Yeah. See, the position of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, of, of the Muslims in this, is three things. We affirm for Allah whatever He affirms for Himself. So how He describes Himself, we affirm it for Allah. And how, let me, let me finish, let me finish. And how the Prophet Muhammad described Him, that's the first thing. Second, we negate for Allah whatever He negates for Himself and His Messenger And then third, in this, we make no likeness to the creation. Okay? So the thing is, all of the... Just repeat that last point again. And the third thing is, Laysa Kamithli Hishay. We don't make any likeness to the creation. What's that? What do you mean by that? So, as, as I said, for example, when we say that Allah affirms that He's living, He's Al Hay, we affirm this for Allah. Because Allah mentioned this, the Prophet Muhammad mentioned this. But this life, we don't make any likeness to His creation's life. But so, like, it takes away the word told me, me, uh, 10 minutes ago, you told me, when I told uh, you I can't describe my. Uh, yeah. Because if you could describe it to me, you won't be able. You said uh, that you can describe him through. Um, yeah, this is describing him. Yes. So, but I told but Allah has some no, no. descriptions as well. No, no. But I told, I told you we can describe the Creator, but there's a difference between comprehending and a contradiction. But, but Allah yeah. has descriptions. But I'm, I'm saying as well. when, when you say that, when you say that, that God is all powerful. And you say that Jesus is God, but then God is weak. And then Jesus is weak. When you say God is the Almighty, and Jesus is God, but Jesus has to submit to God. When you say that God is the All Living, but then you affirm that Jesus dies. When, when, for example, you know the, I'm sure you come across the argument. When Jesus is asked about the hour, and he says that no one knows the hour. No angels in heaven, yeah, not that, the Son, yeah, only the Father. Yeah, uh, that, that's, that's, uh, that's easy. You we have to be careful that you, when you're quoting when you're quoting the yeah. scripture, you have to realise that uh -huh. um, even in First Corinthians, yeah. when Paul says, "I chose to know nothing uh -huh. except for Christ and Him crucified," yeah. the word yeah. "know" yeah. doesn't mean ignorance. So it so means that he. Uh -huh. I'll just explain. Yeah. It means that he chooses, although retaining that information because he's a Pharisee. Uh -huh. He chose to put that aside uh -huh. and, and just simply preach Christ and Him crucified. So uh -huh. when Jesus says that um, no one knows the hour, the word no would be closely related to Not the Son or any because, angels in heaven. Because, yeah, neither angels in heaven or just the Father. Uh -huh. And plus, um, you have to understand that when Christ was saying that also, um, about the time, the hour of His, uh, yeah. his coming, yeah. In Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke yeah. 21, yeah. continues to give details about 
nothing uh, about the, um, the events that will happen before it's coming. The Jesus, so it's not, the, but, but the, yeah. the problem with this argument is, yeah. when you go to the, the Gospel according to Luke, Jesus increased in knowledge of God. So is it alright if I record as well? Yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. How did he increase? If, if you're saying that when it, when, it, when it attributes to Jesus that he did not know the hour, and you're saying that he knew, but he chose not to mention it or not to reveal it, how do you, so that means he's all-knowing, but you're saying that this is just an expression, but he did know when the hour is. Even yeah, though he said yeah. that the sun doesn't know the hour, but you're saying this is just an expression. Uh, it's just an expression. How, 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 did, how did Jesus yeah. increase in knowledge of God? Right, so being in the likeness of man, yeah. right? Yeah. Being born as a, as yeah. a, as a, as a, in the flesh as a man. Yeah. We have to do what? We have to grow uh -huh. in knowledge regardless. But something happened. Especially uh, when, he, uh, when he was baptized. Do you, do you understand the connection between the two? I understand. I understand. You're, you're, look, when, when Jesus is saying that, that the son doesn't know the hour, yeah. your response was quite confident that this means that Jesus did know, but he's using an expression yeah. say that he's not going to let people know. But then when I went to Luke, yeah. that Jesus increased in knowledge, yeah. you didn't use the same argument. Now you're, now you're attributing, attributing the fact that he was human. But when he was human, according to you, wasn't yeah. he fully God? When he was human, he was, was he fully, fully God? God? Fully man. But yeah, that's the thing, because we don't just uh -huh. say he's just fully God, he's fully man as well. Yeah, so, but at the so same time, a, as a, as at a, the same as time. Man, and, and this is what Philippians 2 says, uh -huh. that although being yeah. in, the, in the human flesh, right, yeah. although yeah. being found as, as a man, yeah. he took the form of a servant. Do you know what that means? So, he, so he didn't, just, just no, no, but he didn't, so he didn't increase in knowledge? No, no, just really quickly, I'm yeah. answering yeah. your question. Uh, so when it says that he, he was yeah. found, he yeah. was originally in the form of God, but he big. That, that's your words. Servant. That's your no, words. No, that's no, your it's words. In Philippians two, read it. It's, it says that he was well. he was in the form of God. He was in the form of God before, and he, he was God or in the form of God. A uh -huh. So we have to understand. Yeah. To become something means that's not your original state. Uh -huh. He chose to become that for a purpose uh -huh. of fulfilling scripture, and he said uh -huh. that numerous times during his ministry uh -huh. that um, he's come to fulfill the law, come to fulfill the prophecies about uh -huh. it. Right. So we have to be careful in in, 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 the, in the way I think in the way of. Um, like Muslims understand the scripture, like a lot of times you guys call things, but you don't understand like um, the entirety of scripture, and why uh -huh. Christ came in the first No, 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 look. For look. example, if I was to ask you yeah. why is Jesus the Messiah, uh -huh. what, like what in the Quran would give us substance of why he's the Messiah? See, see, I, I don't know if it's intentional, but we're on one point. What we're saying is that God, in order to be God, he has certain names, he has certain attributes, which are eternal. So he's eternally all-knowing. So when I mentioned about the, the issue of not knowing the hour, you're saying that he did know the hour, even though he said that the sun doesn't know the hour. So here, I would say, your belief, your belief is, is necessitating how you interpret Jesus' words. Even, even though it would appear, literally, Jesus is saying the opposite of what you're saying. Because you're saying that he did know, that he chose not to relieve, re reveal it. But the problem is in Luke, when Jesus increased in knowledge, you don't use the same argument. You don't say that he did know everything, but he's just saying he's, he hasn't revealed everything. That's why he's increasing in knowledge. So it's, it's a contradiction. Not necessarily. Yeah. I think you're too quick to use the term contradiction. Yeah. Again, um, we know that prior before his incarnation, yeah. according to scripture, yeah. he was the Logos, the word before. Right, so he did have a form of godliness before, and you were about to pull up the scripture. If you if you could do that, that would give you Which you guys one? a more un, um, better understanding of uh -huh. the position. So Philippians two, if you bring up Philippians two, uh -huh. it tells you that Christ actually pre-existed before his incarnation, before his found in flesh. Now, being found in flesh, he will grow. He needs to eat. He needs to use the the, the restroom. These are things. These are human. Uh -huh. actual, these are things that. Can I just we, say I don't know much about sorry, Philippians, sorry. but is is the the main writer of the Again, we're, we're going to text. We don't really need to go. Is this Paul? No, because if it is, because yes, there's this Paul. Uh -huh. See, if you look at Romans yeah. 3 7, he, he himself, Paul says that if I was to praise God and talk of his greatness and I lie about it, well, then what's wrong with it? Uh, and no, it's no, just no, it, no, yeah, no, well, if you pull it, if you, if you pull now. that out, Romans we'll 3 7, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. But that's fundamental. But let's do this. Let's do this. That's all that you're talking about, bro. And then we'll come back to that point as well. His point is, is Paul reliable? Yes, I think he's even more reliable than Mohammed, to be honest. 
But, yeah, let's, but, but let's he himself is actually saying that if I lie, there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't I mean, agree. lying, there's I, everything I, I wrong think, with lying. I think, but, I think what you're doing is you are like, you're misinterpreting the text anyway. But that's not We can pull it out. We can pull it out. We can pull it out. So Philippians 2. We can pull it out. So Philippians 2. So Philippians 2. And we'll go to that. No problem. Before that, before that. If the truth of God have more abounded through my lie unto his glory, why yet am I judged as a sinner? So you've gone to... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is what he mentioned, yeah. So forget Philippians 2, let's go. So we're dealing with your point now. Okay, cool. No, but that's, because that's, look, look, my, my point is, that if, if, he can lie about, if he can lie about God, then why can't he lie about Jesus? Because yeah, Jesus never said context, anywhere. Yeah. Let's bring the context. Yeah, yeah, of course, but I'm just saying, Jesus never said anywhere on his first missionary that I've come to pay the price for what Adam did. You know, no way did he say that himself. This is all the saying of Paul. And if Paul's saying himself that he's lying about God, and he's saying there's nothing wrong with that, then what else is he lying about? You know, think about it. If anyone of us to lie to one another, how do we feel about it? Or our family members? Your wife? I hear what you're you know, saying, but, but then again, lying just, is a thing. Lying just, is a just, thing it that's also everything. in just, Islam. I think you, sometimes you have to deny your faith. Um, um, when when it's necessary to, well, but, but, to but what lie is the, about life, 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 life and death. Life, but that's life. If, if someone has a sword what, what over your neck, what's, 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 what's his life no, no, no. conversation no, no. outside? Oh, so, what, where, was, where was his life in danger when he was saying this? You understand? That's my point there as well. He's so just I, saying it for the sake of it, and, and it's like, and God's so to, great, we don't need to lie about it. We're doing no, it. You have to be careful as well when you're reading Paul, because the scriptures are very clear that even Paul, Peter says this, that when you're reading Paul, he uses certain phraseology. Yeah. Right, certain terminology yeah. Yeah. that if you're not careful, you can misunderstand what he's saying. There's and actually, Peter says this I, quite, I quite clearly. So where does Peter say it? Sorry? Is it Second Peter or First? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to bring in the scripture. But I don't, I don't I, I'm to not, not to go in this, but you know... We're going somewhere. No, no, no sorry, sorry. Up, sorry. No problem. I, just, I, wanna, but, I, just wanna, no, I think the first, I, I the, the first point, the first point we, we, we haven't covered yet is that Jesus had a God. Sorry? I think the first point brought up was Jesus had a God. Sorry. No, no, sorry, sorry. No, he's, he's God. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, yeah. Sorry. The first point we brought up was that Jesus himself had a God. I see we're moving again uh, from the, No, no, so but that was that was that was that, that, was, that was mentioned earlier. That was earlier. Yeah. I wasn't here. Uh -huh. um, so what does the Bible say about Jesus having a God? It's very clear uh, when you read um, Hebrews. Yeah. It says that um, God calls him God. Uh -huh. Right. So God says Who wrote about Hebrews? the Son. Uh, what are we going to the uh, Hebrew? No, because, because it's it, the Bible it, that we believe, right? No, no, You're quoting from the Bible. But who, but who so wrote, we, who you wrote have to Hebrews? Either the Bible as yeah. a whole. You can't right. choose and say who wrote this and who done. No, no, no. We accept the Bible as a whole. Okay, okay. So when you're dealing with a point, no, 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 no. To... No, but if you if you're going to quote something, because yeah. look, I'll tell you how we understand the Bible. You're probably aware. We understand that Jesus, Moses, David, peace be upon him, they received revelation. If I was to take you, yeah. yeah. The hadiths as a yeah, whole, yeah. Because I know sometimes you got weak hadiths, yeah, you yeah. Hassan hadiths, you got this hadiths. Uh -huh. If I say the hadith is a hadith, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And every hadith is, is authentic. Because uh -huh. I'll come across some Muslims that say you can't uh -huh. take that hadith. That's yeah. a weak hadith. Okay, okay. But let me finish my point. So, let me, so no, no, let's no, take no, the Bible as a whole. No, no, no. I can take the hadith as a whole. The thing is, you know what I'm saying? We, we, I can no, no. Some hadiths okay. That, but we have a criteria when it comes to the Bible. No, but we have a, when it comes to the Bible, we have a criteria. We believe that these messengers received revelation. But we are saying what they have now, what the Jews and the Christians have now, is a corrupted text. But no problem. The no problem, no problem, no you problem. Have to, you have to give us proof of this. Proof proof of proof of this. No, no problem, just, 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 let, just, let, me make, just let me make my point. So, as, as Muslims, we judge the, the previous revelations or the, the books of the Bible, we judge by the Qur'an. If we find something in an agreement with Qur'an, we will accept it. If we find it opposed by the Qur'an, we reject it. So, okay, so we work backwards to that. Uh -huh. So the Mahayman would be yeah. the Qur'an, yes. right? So you guys work backwards to us, but uh -huh. the foundation uh -huh. for us yeah. is the Torah. If it, do if it doesn't align with the Torah, if it uh -huh. doesn't align with the Bible, uh -huh. the Bible gives us a criteria to work with, okay. which Muhammad doesn't fit. That's okay. why the Jews so, and Christians so, kind of so where reject is, him. Where so, is the, so, yeah. so when you say the Torah, say, do, 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 do you have the Torah given to Moses? I just want to ask one question real quick. Yes, no problem. Does the truth come before the lie or the lie comes before the truth? Does God tell the truth or does he speak a word uh -huh. and, it, and it ends up prompted before he says, oh, I've got to fix it and then bring a, a, 
something con completely in opposition after. Because I don't see that. I don't see that's the way God works. I see God as making the foundation strong, uh -huh. the Torah strong, and, is, and then put, and then warning about lies to come uh -huh. afterwards or angels coming preaching okay. a, a gospel contrary. What caused what caused you to take that approach? The, the, what, okay, what, what why, okay, what what if I said the way I see it yeah. is that when something is pure and then it becomes corrupted, then God will send another messenger to clarify. But that which is God right and wrong. That's, that's let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let yeah. me finish. Then God will send someone to clarify. Now, you you presented your point. Yeah. Why does your point have more uh, more weight than yeah. mine? Yeah. But yeah. Allah's yeah. word be contradicted because He confirms uh, what they had that the people of the book uh, have. He confirms it. He confirms no, it. Because he never said they uh, changed the text. He said that they twist no, their words. No. They never said oh, they like changed the text, they, they speak the it, they twist it. We, we had this so, conversation so already today with someone else, yeah. Uh -huh. They confirm what we have okay. in our hands. Because even more, Muhammad okay. confirms what we have in our hands. Okay. If you haven't got the original text to show okay. us that this is the original and you don't have the faith, then it just, it, it just, okay. it, it, it just contradictions that you're saying. Okay. There's no sustainable fact. Do you, do you believe the first five books of the Bible are what was given to Moses and what you have today, the Jews and the Christians have in your hands today, is uh, preserved until this day, what was given to Moses. Yeah, we believe so. And the reason why is because we have manuscripts like the Dead Sea Scrolls. We also have... You, you have, ma you have manuscripts. And yeah. also, the but biggest not, one is that Jesus was quoting from the Old Testament. He was quoting no, no. The, the, the authors of the New Testament said Jesus quoted. Yeah. yeah. So when you said you have manuscripts, from, correct me if I'm wrong, what I understand is the earliest uh, manuscripts of the Old Testament are from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, yeah, that's, we have the Dead Sea Scrolls. They're, they're, they're the, the earliest. The they're the earliest. I mean, um, but that's also, a, also, but that's, a, that's a thousand years after Moses. Yeah, we know that. We know so, that. So, so, when is your first, so when is your first manuscript of the Dead Sea Scrolls, of the Moses? When, when's the first manuscript you have of the... Oh, so when sorry. You're talking about manuscripts. You're talking about um, what it was written on. A lot of people would yeah. write it on, um, you know, I don't even think papyrus was a thing at the time of Moses. They would write on animal skins and even on uh, stones and things like that. Things that really don't last as long. So Excuse me, one, 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 well. one minute, one minute. Oh, yeah, go on, go on. The conversation didn't finish, we didn't get anywhere, but it's prayer time. Oh. Can I be excused? Yeah, yeah, no worries, man. Maybe we'll continue another day. Oh, oh. I mean, we'll be back in 20 minutes, but you don't have to wait, obviously. If you're around, no problem. Every Saturday. Thank you. But we'll be back in about 20 minutes. We just got here, so we'll probably be around. Okay, no problem. No problem. You asked for me. I asked for Mustafa. Oh, okay, so Mustafa is here. So yeah, Mustafa is here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, what's his name there? Uh, you know, with this. Uh, I'm going to go and pray. Yeah. When? Yeah. I told you, you have to tell me.